Alpha Spirit only needs to get Veil now to be good. I think it's something you sh might be able to. It's not exactly Enigma levels of clearing, but he's not really in any danger because he knows exactly the heroes that are going to be ganking him. It's going to be the Legion Commander and the IO. And again, you will not be able to catch up. Ember Spirit, maybe they could start blocking a couple of his camps to significantly slow him down. Ake, okay. getting body blocked. He's going down here. Oh, oh, they might get RMN instead. The balls come in. Heather? Oh. Nearly gets him. Unable to, but it uh, looks like RMN will feed his life away. So that's going to be a first blood attempt botched. We will drop an observer ward. Uh, down, but, but that is uh, not the way to play this. Really getting, well, anything out of the lane. I actually has... A lot of CS somehow. I'm not really sure how that happened. Ooh. Io. Oh, the ball could have uh, cast a couple of creeps. Six. Wow, overwhelming odds. And he go, man. Yeah, yeah General there with it. Snipe and Pablo might go down as well. He probably will. Blocked him by his own creeps. This is, uh, this is one of those times where creeps are the MVP. Mana or something like that. Which isn't ever going to happen, so... It's a little bit of a careless move in, from Navi, and they really do have to watch out for this dual lane. This is the type of dual lane that can fizzle really quickly. Again. This. Lane, without the overwhelming odds, General getting slowed down. Gorge, oh, gonna get slowed by that tether, but now the chains come in and come in bomb as well. Io will trade his life away. General doesn't get away in time, though. A few more hits will actually bring him down and will. Ursa getting a lot of kills now in return. General got a good. Uh. But yeah, Dendi with the Haste Rune definitely is an opportunity. Maybe if he wasn't going up against an OD, there's still a chance maybe that he slips out of here and has to get on top of this Ember Spirit. But they're actually going to go for Excalibur here. Yeah, the Haste Rune. Something happened. Excalibur getting body blocked. But the Pin of Malice comes in. I think Dendi might go for this, but he will get blocked in again by the Pin of Malice. And oh, the overwhelming odds. Clearly blowing up that OD and the duel actually oh, coming in time as well. They're gonna bust down the underlord, but the grave spoils the fun. Okay, will deny the first 10 damage going to that Legion fund. The general will be pissed, but at least he kill. RMN actually secured that last hit. But in the end, Navi put the aggression. Are they gonna look for a pick here? Is it only gonna be Viva though at this point? I guess it's okay blowing a smoke on a singular support kill. Uh, we'll see if it is successful. Most likely will be. Uh, oh, the lift comes out though! Oh, he tosses him a very odd way. Uh, I think Viper should fall here. The Ember Spirit piles in and Gorge gets the kill there with the Enrage. And now, our man might have come into his own doom there. He dupes with the Tenna. The Omni Slash goes to the Viking Excalibur. Banish himself just to buy himself a little bit of time. Here comes the Underlord. Really looking for it. Oh no, General. He's the wall now. He's walking. That's 10 damage going to him. Fuck from those damage going in. But he does get it now. RK on the That's run. So I can Juggernaut is angry and he is going to try and get the kill there. He will actually get that kill with the Rubik's help now. And the Ancient's actually going to boot the Io down, but it's not going to fall. The hasted Ember Spirit will peek out of there. Tried to go for a snipe, but not successful. Then he was there. They, they broke the Still smoke, someone but here. I don't think they so saw they don't see him. the. Yeah, it's yeah they didn't time. see the Rubik either. So Excalibur is blind. Oh, RMN. That's uh, the way. Hey, I'm just RMN's here. I'm an illusion. To be an illusion. But he does a little bit too much damage, but oh, he's taking the bait though. Excalibur, hello? That is not something you want to contest with, but now Gorge is going to get a stolen prison land on him. There's going to be a port in here from the Underlord, and immediately the response comes in. Navi uh, on the retreat. There's Pycat with the spin. Doesn't really care too much about that chain from Pablo. In the end, Navi will disengage perfectly spells actually hit so yeah, I do like this move quite a bit from general uh, you don't really need like a lot of combat items necessarily because you have the overcharge that's gonna be coming up from your IO so that that can kind of fill the gaps Navi you're gonna catch out a OD he doesn't he does have to banish though He's trying to see not gonna happen he banished the TA tried to TP away but the Mel strike already so a lot of damage that's coming in there's the Legion commander gonna spot it out by that sentry Body blocked by that ancient as well. General is gonna fall there. Picked up an Indus rune under the mud golem that was donated, so not sure what he was doing. I think the proper term though is space created because yep, the rest of the Roshan. team. Yep, okay. Roche. 
Yeah, the chicken spots them out, but uh, Aegis is gonna be claimed. No, it's not claimed just yet. That rooted in, snatched the Aegis. So somehow the Firestorm and the chicken killed Roshan. So the money goes to the Radiant. Does get the. Does, no, Pycat does get the Aegis. Dandy. Dandy got. Dandy got the Aegis. Still, money going to the Radiant. Attack speed, mixing in a little bit of DPS there as well. He is someone that the Navi side have to deal with, and he's going to be backed up by a lot of frontline plus Dazzle support. Uh, yeah, Navi have to oh, get, get going Dendi. really quickly. Chain of Dendi, but this one. <laughs> oh. uh, regrets his life decision to jump on it. Yay. Pretty mobile as well, at least versus Ursa. Legion Commander, he went for Shadow Blade, and he's looking at Pablo now. Can he do this by himself? Maybe the Ember Spirit is burning himself nope. down, but now oh, here comes the spall fun. No, oh, no, our man gets hit by the balls. Now he's gonna be wait five seconds to go. They have that. Well, they have that escape, but Excalibur thinking that he has saved his buddies in the end. Turn around on himself, but he does get the banish away. Dendi, Hurricane Pike, he's gonna hide in the melt. He actually does a lot of the hits there. Gorge, King of Heroes at the back lines. Then he does blink himself to safety. The uh, able to dodge those hits there in the melt. But, uh, rescued by his team. There's even a little bit of slow reinforcements there coming out from Horde. This time it was not space created either. Pycat trying to go for Roche, even had a double yes, damage. A DD. I'm not sure if Pycat wants to mess with three heroes here. Four heroes, actually. He, he, he gets, you know, That's posture. Be aggressive. Oh, that's the army slash on the dodge. Immediately removed the Arcade oh, gets his double crit down. Oh man, the life of Arke. Now the lift comes out on the Ursa, he doesn't have the edges just yet, chops him in half. Pycat is the crit master, E skill, now running away, has that Crimson Guard ready, but the purge comes out, and Pycat is dropping low, he dies to the magic damage, Dendi. Now banished out, Pablo is there to roast away the refraction charges. And buybacks here, coming out from Gorge, he is going to be able to afford that buyback because of that incoming agent. If they win this fight, Dendi has wings, does he fly away in time? Nope. Not gonna be the case, that tries to blow up Pablo, but stop. Uh, not gonna be it. There's the duel onto the OD. Gets the mail off as well, so he does get the 10 damage his way. Pycat has bought back into the game. Gorge is out of mana. The banish from Rubik is making big plays there, as he does do a big amount of magic burst uh, to that Ursa, nearly taking him out. The Commander General still pushing the issue here. He has that Shadow Blade, he really wants to go for a punish. As a Sentry Ward, and I think they know. So Really has to be careful here, Gorge. Oh, running into General gets a bash at the tip there. Does actually run away out of vision range, and High Cat will go back to his Aegising. And is he going to be successful? Mech comes out, and so does the attack speed. The shrines come out for board. Is it going to be in time? Roshan going down. There's the chain goes out. The steel? No, it will not be the steel. Navi secures Aegis, and they now back off. Hell Slam coming out here. Not back General as he Shadow Blades away. Oh wow, Pablo jumps forward. I'm afraid of Legion. But then he has BKB now, so maybe he can try and muscle this. Oh, Excalibur nearly getting dual. Are they going to try and try for this? Gorge going in for Iron Man. There's going to be heal to you. He's going to pay with his life, though, I think. One more Mel Strike will send him down into the grave. Excalibur has a fatal attack onto him. It's going to be a really close team fight. Excalibur getting caught out here. Here's the Omni Slash getting set up on Shallow Grave, but then he pops the KP. So, OD, Mark at you. I can't though, getting surrounded, no mana, his age is down. Kite him, Excalibur saves himself with his banish. Now they're coming back, Pycat doesn't have spin, he does actually have spin, so he is going to be able to play. 18 to 15, the kill score, Ursa, for three heroes. But, yeah, it's probably not going to make a huge difference in the grand scheme of things. Dendi is mad far from, but... You know what, you can just get like a ghost after. Oh, they look for Pablo, they two-shot him. The strikes are gonna go through though. He pops the, pops the hit, but the BKB meanwhile, General does get Arcade. So they duel the guy that saves life, and Pablo <laughs> walks right into General's spear. Here's himself, and oh, gonna get a freebie over there, buy one Arcade. Three, Calibur getting slowed by Dendi's trap. Oh, what's this? Oh, there's gonna be a, gonna be a Mel strike, but they will Radiant's bail out with the... Tower. Under Underlord, attack. so in the end. Try for the ages. It happened though. Or just to Navi be very go. careful with this. Yeah, Navi 
Spotted out general is actually spotted out. He does have BKB now. Gorge jumps in onto him. The Aethos is there. The Abyssal Blade lands onto Gorge. So general is going to be in a lot of trouble there as he gets pummeled down right away. Do not be getting a trade in return. It's not going to be uh, the case here. Viva in trouble. He does have Ghost Scepter. He's going to try and bail. The Banish comes out. I don't going to escape this one. That's a self-banish though. No, that's a self-banish. So he does. But the Aethos is there. The Fate Ball comes out to lift as well. The Rubik is going to drop. And that's a gem on the ground as well. Horde is dead. They're gonna like this one. Free coverage. Get the market. Incredible. Uh, a lesser concern. But right now, they're doing this rat. The famous. Famous 3, 2, 1. Do they get out in time? 1. Oh no, it's Taxi out. X dies. So Pycat is in a lot of trouble. That BKB he doesn't even have a team. Why are you gonna run? Oh no, Pycat. Good turn around with an only slash, but nope. Now. Nah. That was really bad. Yeah, uh, they got a little bit of damage. I'm gonna assume they did all that damage right then. 600 damage to a tier 3. And he's gonna try to do something very similar, and it looks like he's not gonna be punished. Oh, wow. He's gonna bring down this tower. It's Rex is gone, actually. Yeah, where is everybody? Oh, no, no, no. The wolf got it. Okay, the wolf got it. No, actually, that's Pycat's wolf doing the job. Look at that, go They're doggy. Pushing oh, up. General comes in with the bait! Gets the Underlord. No, Dyer's Underlord's not the one you want, but I think Dendi top. is going to come in and finish off this building. General, yeah, they got to go in. They're going to trade top lane, though. Have to be careful here. Horde are looking for the trade, and do they get kill the Athos? Flies out. Is it enough? The Glyph is forced. Viber is there, lifts up the uh, Serp. There's going to be a Banish here on the Rubik. Is it a stolen one? No, it's not a stolen one. He has another one if he can not banish himself. Nope, tries to banish the, the Rubik. He's going to banish himself. There you go. Then he comes in. He has that BKB4 fight though. When he gets instantly bashed by the Ursa Warrior. That's a problem as always. Rubik brought down five men. Wailing on this. And another first hit bash here. Dendi with that BKB. Now vulnerable to magic. The OD is going to smile and shake his hand. Rub his hands together. General back here. Blink away. He has buyback, but really doesn't want to use this. Ivor has used his um, has used his buyback. He is probably going to die again. He banishes himself, buys himself another four seconds. Will he blink away in time? No, he does not. Dire Storm on the Roasts him alive, and he will actually not get out here in time. General, oh no, getting bashed here by the Ursa. The Abyssal Blade is dead. General's down. He does have the buyback, though. I'm not sure why he was lingering. And it looks like Hall just want to end the game right there and then. RB, if they want to hold this, they have to buy back right now. There is still Aegis and Cheese. Pycat goes in with the Omni Slash. There is the duel. They go. They find RK, but immediately banish Excalibur. Ruining the fun there for the Legion Commander. They do get the pin lock, but no, the Grave is dead. The triple kill from Excalibur pretty much just heals the game. That Pycat will run. His general taps out. Two minutes. Bay just respawn, but it doesn't matter. Pycat just hit five before the drone goes down. Yes, he does. But still, a small win there. It's now be full. Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history. Yeah. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy. When we're in too deep. And you and I, we got history. Yeah.